What's going on guys? It's Alexa V03 and I am back with another video. For today's video, I'm going to be doing my updated sneaker collection. I have added a lot of sneakers to my collection since the last time we did one of these videos. So far, I've done maybe three of these videos. And if you guys want to see how my collection has grown throughout the years, the link for those videos will be down in the description box below. But before we get started in this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Give this video a big thumbs up and hit the post notification bell. And without further ado, we can get right into this video. So before I get into all my Jordans and my Nikes, we're gonna start with my Vans. I have a pretty decent collection of Vans, starting with my slip-on Vans. These are the checkerboard slip-on Vans. They are a light pink color. They're really cute. I actually wear these shoes with a lot, even though they're pink. I, I still wear them with stuff that isn't pink. <laughs> The next shoes in my sneaker collection are my floral Vans. I really like these. Out of all the Vans that I have, these are my most worn and they're my favorite. Despite the fact that they are floral, I still wear them with so much. I love the, the length of these laces. Like, they're perfect. This is exactly how I wish all of my sneakers and all of my shoes would lace. Some of the laces are too long or too short. But these are perfect. That's why I love these so much. And I think they look really cute on my feet. Next up, we have my basic black and white Vans. I had to have a pair of these in my collection because they're just black and white. can wear these with anything. Um, the laces are like longer than the other ones. This is what I'm talking about. I prefer the other laces. But I love these and these are probably my second most worn Vans. And my last pair of low Vans are these velvet Vans. I got these um, a while back, but I really like them. I wear them even in the spring and summer. Like, they're velvet. That kind of is winter. But I still wear them. The laces on these are super long. Oh my goodness. But I still like them. They're all black. I even wear them to school because I have to wear a uniform with all black figures. For my high top Vans, I have this pair, they are maroon, all maroon everywhere. I got these a couple years ago. I love them. Uh, I kind of have a hard time matching this with different outfits, but I still like them. And then I have a pair of all white Vans. Okay, these, well, no all white shoe is gonna forever be white. So they're a little bit dirty, but that's okay. I still rock them, I really like them. They go with a lot. This is one of my favorite high top Vans. I just wish that they wouldn't get dirty. I need some crap. And lastly, for the Vans, I have the black and white high top Vans. I really like these, not as much as the white ones. When I'm looking for a black and white Van, I usually go with the low tops. So these don't get as much love as the other Vans, but I still like them. Now we are gonna get started with my Nikes and then we're gonna jump into Jordans. My favorite Nike has been the Air Max 270s. I have loved those. I really wanna get some new pairs, but I have two right now. I have an all white pair. Funny story about these. I had a nosebleed in the parking lot at my guitar lessons and yeah. I still wear them. They have a little bit of specks of blood on them, but I still wear them. I like them. I love these shoes. They are super nice. I don't recommend them for like sports because I think the wedge or the bubble is way too high. I've rolled my ankle in these so many times. I've actually injured myself playing in PE with these, so yeah. And then my other pair of the 270s, I got these for my birthday for my mom. I love these, she put me on because I didn't like them at first. Then she bought them for me and I put them on my feet and I was like, oh, I need more. So I love these, um, they're super cute. This is actually a very versatile shoe. You could wear it with like a lot, so I really like it. Up next, we have my Air Max 97 Pluses. I love these. These are the shock orange. It literally looks like fire. These should have been called like flame something, flamethrowers. I don't know. Shock orange does not do it justice though because it literally looks like fire on your feet. Fun, cool thing about these. My dad had this shoe back in like 2000 and like zero. <laughs> He had this shoe probably like 2007 or eight or six. I don't know, a really, really long time ago. I wanna say it was 2008 when these first released and then they brought them back. So yeah, my dad still has his and we twin. Um, he just has the older pair. Yeah, I love these shoes. They don't get a lot of love from me either because they're orange. I don't have a lot of orange, 
but I really do like the shoe. Next up, we have blazers. These are Nike blazers. I recently got this pair of shoes this summer and I fell in love. I think the color blocking and the style of this shoe is so dope. You don't see them very often. People wear more of like the Jordans or the Air Maxes. Uh, I don't see these that often. That's why I was so attracted to them. I like them so much because I really don't see them anywhere. So I got these in California and I love them. I don't wear them that often because I think this is like, I think it's such a dope and cool shoe that the outfit has to be really dope. And not all the time I'm in a dope outfit. So these are very special. They get worn when I have something dope on. Next up, I have another pair of blazers. These are such like an old school looking shoe. They are really dope. I love these as well. The color is like, you know that color in the crayon box where it's not red, but it's not orange, but it's like red orange. Yeah, that's like, that's that. <laughs> So I really like this shoe. It creases um, pretty easily, but I'm okay with that. I think a shoe like this deserves some creasing and I know you guys are gonna kill me for that, but I, I don't mind when a shoe creases. Um, I think it's kind of cool. So, hello? Next we have some Air Force Ones, all white low Air Force Ones, also known as G Fezos. My laces aren't that white anymore, but the whole shoe is for the most part still white and they're still holding on. I've had these for a good bit now. Um, such a durable shoe. I actually wear these a lot because they go with anything and they are a popular shoe and I really like them. So, all white Air Force Ones. Next we have Chanel Swoosh Air Force Ones, red and blue Air Force Ones. For some reason, red and blue was so popular almost like a year ago. I don't know why red and blue got that popular, but it was. So, Air Force One. Now we're gonna get into my phones. We have the Abalone phones. For me, it was either these or the Big Bangs. I chose these and I'm glad I did. I really like these. So we have my phones. These are just big and bulky on my feet, but I still love them. Next, we have Purple Camo. I have not worn these yet, but they are so dope. I love that. I think it's so cool. I can't wait to rock these. The outfit has to be fine when I rock these though, because I think these are dope. All right, you guys, now we're getting into the Jordans. So my descriptions are going to be a lot shorter because this video will be like three and a half hours long because I can talk forever. So first we have Air Jordan 1 mids. Okay, these are like from the fifth grade. Don't roast me. <laughs> They're kind of dirty. <laughs> kind of, they are a lot dirty, but I can't get rid of these. I just, something about them. I can't get rid of them. I can't get rid of anything. <laughs> so we have all white Air Jordan 1 mids. Heat, we're getting into some heat. Here we have the Royal Ones. Just to let you guys know, I am a six in grade school and a seven and a half in women's. That My feet has stopped growing, so now I buy shoes for forever. <laughs> Not until my feet grow, because they're done growing. So we have the Royal Ones. I should have doubled up on these and I did it and I regret that so much because I love these to death, but I only have one pair. So I don't wear them like at all, but they're dope. Next we have the Yin Yang Ones. This is the black version. I wanted the black and the white version. I never got to get the white version. I'm probably still gonna cop it one day. I have to. Um, the leather on this is a little thicker than all my other ones for some reason, I don't know why. But. I love these because they're black and white and they have a hint of red on the tongue. I think this is just a really dope shoe. I love it. Next we have the Bread Toe Ones. Oh, I love this shoe. They resemble the Bread Ones a lot, but they are not the Bread Ones. These are the Bread Toe Ones. I love this. I wanted the Bread Ones for so long, but they are so expensive. So I think this is such a good alternative because I couldn't get the bread ones. So I went with these and I love them to death. Wear them too much though, because they're starting to crease. That's the only thing with ones, they crease easy, but I don't mind the creasing sometimes. But with a shoe like this, like, I don't want it to crease that much. Next up, UNC ones. Oh, these are so dope. Like every time I look at the shoe, I'm just like, dang, these are cool. This was a shoe that came with two laces, this light blue, Carolina blue, and then the deep, the deep navy blue. So dope, love this shoe to death, oh my goodness. Um, also creaks really easy, but we're not gonna talk about that. Last pair of ones that I have are these Harris ones. I don't know who built this shoe. I got it back in, I don't even know. I got these a long time ago, but I mean, I guess it was kind of cool, but I don't really like them. I don't know. They're built very bulky. I don't know. They're dope, I guess. Sometimes I don't wear these. 
threes. We have the Katrina threes, red, gray, black, and white colorway. Really dope shoe. One of my favorite pairs of threes. I, it's not my favorite, it's one of them though. Second favorite, love these. Next, we have the Cement Threes. I remember when these dropped, I doubled up and then I sent my double up back and I regret that because I killed these a little too much. Um, I wish I had that double up now, but I don't. And my ultimate, these are my favorite threes that I have, Powder Blue Threes. These are so cool. I found these for a steal. Oh my goodness, I got these from Magnolia Park in California for I think it was $60. Powder Blue Threes, size six, $60. Hmm. I love this shoe. It's such a vibrant shoe. Um, this is also a shoe that you have to cook up a dope outfit if you want to pull these out. Um, but yeah, I love these. Cannot wait to rock them some more. I just got to find the perfect outfit. Flashback to the good old days. Oh my gosh. Alternate 89 4s. Wow. I used to wear this shoe every other day. This is when I first started collecting. When I got these, I was so happy. And I got them in a six and a half, knowing good and well I'm a six. <laughs> when I look at it, it just like gives me flashbacks, like deja vu. But I remember these, they're so dirty. But I love them to death. These, I will never ever get rid of these. Oh my goodness. The traction on them is like literally going away. That is crazy. Alternate 89. Next we have the Royalty Fours. This was such a flop shoe. I saw what they were going for. They could have executed it a lot better, but they did not. They flopped. I think they flopped big time. I don't know why I have them still. I don't really wear them that much because the plastic on them is like cheap. They could have done a lot better because I think they just put a little more effort into the shoe. I'd wear it like every day, but it's okay. So here are the Royalty Fours. Now we have the Bread Fours. These just released not long ago. I was waiting for these since last year since I knew they were releasing. I had to double up on these. I did double up on these. Oh, these are so dope. I'm gonna kill these, I already know. <laughs> these are such a dope shoe and I just feel like it was only right for me to double up because I do feel like I'm gonna wear these in the ground. You guys know the colorway, black and red. We have hints of gray in there as well, but Bread fours, mm, love these. Sixes, still blue sixes. Got these around my birthday in like 2017, maybe 2016, my eighth grade year. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about these. They're kind of weird, but they're dope. I mean, it's a cool color. I just have not one thing that's this color, which is why it's so hard, but it's definitely a spring shoe. So like an all white fit, all white denim jacket, all white pants. That's what you'd wear this with. Next up, we have the Chinese New Year Sixes. Oh, I love these. One of my favorite pair of sixes. I can't choose between these and the next pair I'm about to show you if they're my favorites, but this was a dope sneaker. They did a great job. I love it. So dope. Boom, my last pair of sixes, the Infrared Sixes. I love this shoe. Oh, I waited so long for these and they came out. Oh guys, by the way, I moved my lace locks down to the bottom of my shoe. I don't keep them in the middle. It's just something I do. So, in Fred Sixes, man, so dope. I love these, man. Next up, I only have one pair of eights, but I love these to death. Uh, I need to get some more eights. When I got these, I fell in love with them. I love how they look on my feet, and they just made me fall in love with eights. And I was like, I'm gonna get some more eights. And I never did, but I'm still going to. I will. I really want the Aqua eights. I think. I'm gonna do some searching for those because I think those are dope. These are such a really like weird colorway. I would never look at these colors and think they would look good on a shoe together. But man, whoever designed these, they did that because I really love these. Super dope. All right, you guys, nines. UNC nines. Ooh, they did a good job on the shoe. I am glad I got it. I was nervous because these were my first ever pair of nines. I didn't know if I would like how they looked on my feet, but it turned out okay. I really like them. So dope. They have the same UNC colorway as every UNC um, sneaker, sneaker has. So it's got that deep blue, the white, Carolina blue. I like how they mainly did this shoe with the deep blue and the white and they just hinted the Carolina blue here and there around the shoe. I think they did a good job on this and I love it. Next we have the Jim Red Nines. These are like the Chicago Nines. I don't know what the official name for them is, but I, I love these. They did a good job. A lot of people got these. 
I know a lot of people got these. So like I did with my Gym Red 11s, you might not see me in these for, for a little bit. Maybe take a picture and then I'm put them back on the shelf. But I do that a lot. Um, if a lot of people have a shoe, I wait till theirs get a little bit crusty. And then I wear mine. I, I don't know. I'm weird like that. But I love this shoe. So much I can wear with this in my closet. I have a lot of red, a lot of white, and a lot of black. So boom. Let's hop into the 10s. We're going to start off with the New York City 10s. I got these a while back. Um, I can't even remember when I got these. It's just the all black with hints of that kind of goldish color. It has the NYC right there on the side of the shoe. Really dope, really dope. I don't know why I haven't worn these. I think it's because they're a six. Yeah, these are a six and a half. I got these too big. I don't know who I thought I was. I don't know. I am a six and I used to buy all my shoes in a six and a half. I don't know why, but I did. So, then we have the Harris Tens. This shoe is pearl white with black and I think this was the most... I have trashed this shoe for my last two sneaker videos and nothing has changed. This shoe is still trash. The quality is not that good. I don't... Trash, okay? Trash, trash. They could have done better. I don't wear these that much at all. Boom! Russell Re 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 Russell Westbrook 10s. Uh, class of 2006. Man, these are so dope. A lot of people got these too. I love these. This is that red and blue rage. I, I don't know why everything was red and blue at this time when these came out and the Air Forces came out and like a bunch of red and white and blue Air Forces were just popping up everywhere. I had to get these, man. These are so cool. I love them. I think they're dope. Definitely, could you can go with a blue outfit, go with a red outfit, go with a red and blue outfit. These are just all together pretty, pretty dope. Um, like the bottoms of them too. That's cool. 11s. We're gonna have to fly through. I have so many pairs of 11s. Out of all the silhouettes, I have the most 11s. So, I'm embarrassed to show these. I wore them. I liked them a little too much. The Baron 11 lows. The patent leather on these were like a nice black and gray, and I liked them so much. Look at the soles. Why did I do? To all the sneakerheads out there, I apologize. <laughs> we have the bleached coral lows. I thought this was so dope when they came out. Got them for my birthday. Wore them to my birthday party. Have to clean them still. <laughs> but I love these. I think it's really cool. They fray a little bit on the satin parts, but that's okay. I think it's really cool. You don't see a shoe this color very often. I think that's dope. Boom! Pure white 11s. Got the iridescent snake skin on them. Icy bottoms. Dope sneaker that I also got in a six and a half. I don't know why I do this to myself, but dope. Cool gray 11 lows. Ooh! I love these. All I'm missing is the cool gray 11 highs. <sighs> yes. If I can get my hands on a pair of those, over with. But I love the lows just as much. I actually got these in the right size. Um, I wear them a lot. Probably can't tell. Okay, you probably can't tell. But I love these so much. Gray and white. I love them. Stingray 11s. I remember when these came out. They came out around Black Friday. But these are the black, gold, and white sneakers. Man, they put a lot of detail into this shoe. I really like it. A lot more detail than they did to the Royalty 4s. I love these. These are so dope. In my opinion, these are more for winter. But I love them. And we are moving. We're keeping the ball rolling. Let's go. Next up. Oh, I remember when I got these. Man, Harris 11s, red velvet 11s, whatever you guys call them. These were the, these were like the shoe of the year for the females and the males, actually. I remember these came out in like extended sizes. Everybody wanted them. Man, these still smell new, my goodness. There is such a beautiful story behind these that I don't have time to tell today, but super dope shoe. I barely wear them. This is more of a winter shoe for me as well. Um, but when I do wear them, it's special. I love these. Next up, Legend Blue 11s. We're gonna have to slow it down on this one. This is a dope shoe right here. I love these. When I found these, I was shook. I ordered them immediately. Man, isn't this a dope shoe? Oh, I love it. So, this shoe is was was one on my top. I have to have these lists. Then I got them and I don't wear them because they're just so beautiful. I mean, I do wear them on special occasions. Um, you can kind of see they have gotten their wear, 
But these are just such a beautiful shoe and I just can't let anything happen to them. Next, when like 87 11s. Okay, these also have that UNC colorway. Dope. I love this shoe, but the problem I'm having is I have too many shoes in this colorway. So I'm going more for the nines and for the ones than I am for the 11s. Some, but definitely I have to give these some love because I do have a lot that could go with the um, UNC colorway. I just have to go for the 11s instead of the nines and the ones. I always go for those. Boom, the win like 96, gym red 11s, whatever you want to call it. The colorway is gym red, they're 11s. I love these. When they first came out, everybody got them. They were all the rage. I mean, everybody had them. I didn't wear mine till a couple months after. I wore them a little too much. These are on hold right now because I love them and I need them to stay as fresh as possible. But really dope. I love how this particular shoe looks on my foot. I don't know, something about this exact shoe. It just looks good. <laughs> Concord 11s. Oh, love this shoe. Super dope, patent leather, so shiny. You hear that? Squeaky clean, yeah. That's dead stock for you. This is my double up pair. Have not worn these, will not wear these too. Too beautiful, I can't wear them. But I do wear my other pair that's not dead stock. Um, yeah, this is a dope sneaker. It can go with anything in my closet, which is why I think it's such a cool sneaker. Yeah, but I love it, 45 on the back. You know how we come in. But yeah, I love these. Forgot these when I was showing all my lows. These are the Emerald 11 lows. I got these when they came out. I have not worn them yet. I was looking at them in my closet and I was like, dang, I need to wear these. These are so dope. Um, and they're in my actual size. Look at that. Everything about these are like so iridescent and it's just beautiful. I love these. I need to wear these. They're nice. The last pair I have of my 11s are the Gamma Blues. I love these. When I got my hands on these, it was over with. I got these from StockX. I remember getting them. I remember being so happy. Oh, I love these shoes so much. Everything about this shoe is just perfect. I think this shoe is built just like the Gym Red 11s. There's something about those two 11s that they just look good on my feet no matter what. I don't know. Some of the other 11s, I'll be like, why does it look like that? But these and the Gym Red or when like 96s, Yes, I love these shoes, man. Babies. Now you guys, the one, no, the two pairs of 11s that would just complete my 11 collection. Besides the cool gray 11s that I, I really want. The bread 11s, which are coming out this year, either November or early December. I'm pretty sure it's Thanksgiving though. Um, I'm betting money on Thanksgiving. I have to get those and I have to double up. I'm gonna be so upset if I don't get those. The Bread 11s and the Space Jams. I miss the Space Jams and I still don't have them. If you have a size six Space Jams, dead stock, hit me up. Good prices only. <laughs> but for real though, you guys, um, those three sneakers, Cool Gray, Breads, um, Space Jams, yeah. I need those. All right, 12. Game Royal 12s. These just released. I think these are really hot, dope. I think they spun off of the royal ones just a little bit. You know, they call them the game royals. And it's the exact same colorway as the royal ones. Something fishy. I don't know. But I love this shoe. So dope. These remind me of the Motorsport 4s. The black pair. Yeah. I like these though. Super dope. Uh, I am definitely going to be getting a lot of wear out of these. The Rush Pink 12s. Mm, by say 11s. The Rush Pink 11s. The Rush Pink 12s. Man, these are so cool. Me and my best friend both have a pair of these and we're cool. But I like that most of the shoe is black and then you just have the hints of pink here, here, and at the bottom. These are so cool. I love this shoe. If it wasn't pink right there, I would definitely get a lot more wear out of them, but I have to have that pink. I think it's really dope. I just don't have enough pink in my closet. So these don't get in the rotation that much, but they will. I'm gonna get something just for these. Master 12s, man, these are so dope. I think these and the Taxi 12s were on my list of 12s that I had to get. And I was satisfied with these instead of the Taxi 12s because these are really dope and such a dope colorway. You can wear it with a lot and I love these so much. 
Next, we had the class of 2003-12. So I think the main reason I got these was class of 2003 and I was born in 2003. But then I looked at the shoe and I was like, these are kind of dope. So they matched my outfit. Instagram, hello? But um, I love these shoes. They are so dope. They don't get enough wear from me because the material is kind of weird. So I don't want to wear them in like bad weather. I live in Alabama and you can never tell what the weather's going to be. But I still love these. They're really dope and I'll definitely be wearing them again. So apparently my headband has moved all the way off my head and nobody decided to tell me. That's tough. Anyways, Chinese New Year 3s. Chinese New Year 6s. What? <laughs> Chinese New Year 12s. Man, <laughs> could not get that one out of my mouth. Um, These are really dope. I got these in the eighth grade, so of course I thought I was a six and a half, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm so mad that I did that, but these are cool. They have that bamboo vibes um, on the tabs and whatever. I love these. These are so cool. When I first got these, um, this was before I had a YouTube channel. I made a fake YouTube video all about these. I wish I could find that video. <laughs> but I love these. Next we have the Bordeaux 12. I was too excited to get these. I wore them a lot. My, sh my laces are all like breaking. This is a good shoe, man. This held up because, and it's like new buck suede-ish. I remember I spilled something on them, messed them up forever. I still wore them because I think they're dope. But yeah, love these, love these, love them. Then we have the Aqua 12. Oh, these are so freaking pretty. I love these. But this is definitely for summer and spring, and it's definitely winter. I could never find an outfit that would do these justice, so I have not worn them yet. But I will. I think these are dope. I love them. That that blue is so vibrant. It pops at your face, and you're just like, just kind of want to eat them. But yeah, they're, they're so dope. Love them. Gym Red 12s. This is definitely a winter slash fall shoe, in my opinion. But this is like all red shoe with hints of black. Love it. So dope. Everything about this shoe is just red. But I love it. Ooh, winterize 12s. These, oh, this shoe is so well made. It's like the perfect winter shoe. It has the fluffy interior to keep you warm. And then the exterior, you hear that? That's like a whole boot. Nothing is getting through this. It's like waterproof. But these are so cool, man. They definitely did not flop on these. This winter, I will be pulling these out. Will, I promise. All right, you guys, the last sneaker of the evening. My 13s. These have such a bright patent leather. They scream at you and you're like, man, that's so shiny. But I love these. They look a little bit weird on my feet. I'm not gonna lie, this is the only pairs of 13s that I had, but I think they're dope. Look at that. That's pretty cool. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. I tried to go really fast because I know if I don't, I'm gonna lose your attention if I go slow. But we have finally reached the end of this video. I know I have a lot of sneakers. I love each and every one of them. I just want to say that I'm really blessed and I do buy all of my sneakers. You guys kill me about this. I buy all of my sneakers or they're gifted to me by my beautiful parents who love me and who I love back. Thank you, mom. Thank you, dad. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Hit that post notification bell. And if you want to see more sneaker videos then head over to the community page i will leave a community post just for this video that you can comment under and tell me what you would like to see next i love you guys hit that subscribe button i'll see you in the next one peace